Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do another fragrance review on... What smells good to me? So what are we going to talk about? So full disclosure, before I get into this fragrance, uh, it was sent to me. Um, so I'm still going to give you a 100% honest review, but I just want to get that through to the viewers that just because something is sent to me doesn't mean I'm not going to give you an honest review. So with that being said, let's get on with it. Also, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that like button, go and throw a comment down there below about what fragrances you're wearing and maybe something else you'd want me to review in the future. Thanks. So what are we talking about? We're going to talk about Weinstress by Chatean Lu. So this is by Sean over at Chatean Lu. Uh, I stumbled onto Chatean Lu about a year ago and Sean has been very good to me. Um, I'm really, really into tobacco fragrances. And so I've reviewed a lot of their tobacco fragrances and Sean makes a truly, truly unique uh, perfume slash cologne fragrance. Uh, he's a historian, he's out of St. Louis, Missouri. And he ties a lot of history into his fragrances. So those that are really into the art and the nuances uh, beyond just that something that smells great, I really want you to uh, head over to the Chantian Lu webpage and really look at all the rich history behind all these fragrances because there's a lot more than just the fragrance itself. Hence the one we're going to talk about right now. So Weinstress, um, this won a bunch of awards. Uh, this past year. So out of uh, Kelowna Soar, uh, it won uh, Best Perfume. That's pretty huge, right? It also won uh, Best of Scent in another award category uh, in a totally different, re different review. So there's a lot of uh, great things behind this fragrance. Uh, it's inspired by the Missouri Wineland where German immigrants settled. So hence the name, Weinstress. It's a nice wine type fragrance. There's a lot going on with this fragrance. Um, so you've got top notes of white grape, you've got green cognac, you've got fresh grass, uh, green notes, you get um, some nice honeysuckle, you get kind of a, a really nice um, like honey berry vibe, you get some nice soapy green fresh sweet notes. There's a lot going on with this fragrance. Like all fragrances, they're very subjective. So with me, uh, when I tried this fragrance, um, it was very sweet, very bright, and I really enjoyed it. Um, but it didn't work with my chemistry. And I was very bummed about it. Uh, I thought it was kind of a fluke. So I told Sean, I tried it a couple different times, and there was just something about this fragrance. And I've had it happen with a couple other fragrances that I really, really enjoyed a lot. And I don't know what it was, um, but it just, it wasn't really working with my chemistry. And it's, I kept coming back to it because I really enjoyed the fragrance. I enjoyed uh, the initial burst. I enjoyed um, the kind of the mid dry down and the dry down. I enjoyed all of it, but it just, something wasn't working. So please don't use me as the benchmark of something, whether a fragrance doesn't work or not. I always tell people, fragrance is very, very subjective. It is one of those things that it, it truly is one of those, um, it, it's a love. It's a love because you know you have, you have fragrances that you smell in someone else and you're like, oh man, I gotta get that and you get it and it doesn't work. Or you smell something uh, in a department store and you're just walking through and you're like, what is that? It smells great on the strip. You put it on and it doesn't last as long on you. Well, so that's kind of the way I'm, I'm kind of, I'm being very subjective with this fragrance. It didn't work for me, but I like it, if, if you know what I mean. So I really, if you're, if you're truly into the art of a fragrance, if you're truly looking for something very different, you've got to check out the Weinstress by Chateau Lu. The thing I really like about Sean and his creativity and his fragrances is they're very, very different from anything out there. He made um, a fragrance a while back uh, that had the essence of real smoke coming out of a steamboat stack. Probably one of the most realistic steam 
notes I've ever smelled. Uh, I live in, in Southern California. We go to Disneyland a lot, and they've got a big steamboat that goes around uh, Tom Sawyer's Island. The smoke, everything, that all that smell, the nuances from that smell, that's what I got from that fragrance. So Sean is able to make and create just some wonderful smells that are so realistic. And that's what's captured here is a true white grape. So if you're a big fan of wine, like who is it? Um, you're really gonna like this fragrance because it really captures those, like when you open a nice uh, sparkling white wine and uh, like in the summertime, you know, and you're, you know, that crisp wine smell of, of a white grape, it is truly captured in this fragrance. It is just, it is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I love the creations that Sean is able to do with his fragrances. Um, one of the notes he actually has in there, it's, I might actually butcher, it's cumarin, which actually mimics a tobacco type note. And so that was one of the things, I think the reason why Sean sent it to me is he knows my love of tobacco. And it, it is, I can definitely smell the nuances of a tobacco note in there. I wouldn't say this is a tobacco fragrance. It is more of a white grape, a, a sweet, uh, crisp fragrance, uh, floral. Uh, he was going in the lines of a foie gras, um, but different. So I think he's captured all that really well. The fact that all these awards that this fragrance won basically shows what a masterpiece it is. Again, Sean is always creating something new. You have to tune in, get, uh, sign up for his email alerts because he's going to be doing some really new and innovative things with his business in the next year, which is really exciting. Um, it's just, it's, uh, I really enjoy someone who takes their art and their craft so serious and Sean truly is an artist in his creations. So if you're looking for this bottle, which is a two ounce, it goes for $60. But like I said, I'm always about trying something before maybe I purchase. Uh, a blind buy, it's definitely something different and I think um, you'd be okay with it. But you can also get a 5ml for $8 if you're kind of on the skittish side and you wanna try it out first. Uh, I see this fragrance also is something that would be uh, unisex. I could see this feminine or male um, and I see it shining. You could probably really rock this year round I could see it popping in cooler weather, and I could see it being a nice spring summertime fragrance. So that's about it for it, uh, this review right now. But again, this is Winestress by Chateon Lou. Please take a look, go head over to his Instagram page. Like I said, sign up for the email alerts and head over to the website. I'll leave that all in the description below. Please make sure you follow me on Instagram at Monkeys Tropicals Adventures. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you again for another fragrance review, shave, or something new in the year 2020. Take care.